Hey everybody, how's it going? So today I got a small pickup from Lowe's. Went to Lowe's yesterday, picked up the DeWalt 8 volt gyroscopic screwdriver. We're gonna take a look at it, so please stick around, check out the video, and I'll see you guys there. Thank you for watching. What is up everybody, how's it going? So I went to Lowe's. I've been looking for this for well over a year and a half or so, and none of the, the stores all had the display. They don't, didn't ever have the screwdriver. Went to the Warner Lowe's, which I go to when my normal Queen Creek Lowe's doesn't have something. Um, and come to find out that my Warner store ended up getting like 10 of these in. So this is DCF682N1 Delta Charlie Frank 682 Northern 1. Um, this is a small little kit. I'm, I'm looking to get some more extra batteries for this. Um, does come with a charger, which is nice. No load speed is zero to 430 RPMs. Drives quarter inch hex. Tool weight, tool only is 1.1 pound. Um, it's a nice little kit. Paid 74. This used to be 79. Um, and some places it was more expensive than that. Um, so 74 bucks ended up being with tax. It was 79 bucks out the door. Not bad at all. Um, this has the little top clips, but you do have to cut this top piece off, which is laminated. Should be able to pop it open after that. Yep. Pop the screwdriver out. Pop the battery out. So now I'm technically in all of the DeWalt lines that are available um, in 2021. You have the 8 volt, which is 7.2 volt nominal. The 12 volt, 20 volt, which 12 volt, and then the 20 volt is 18 volt, no, uh, or 20 volt nominal, 18 volt normal um, usage. This is 8 volt nominal, 7.2 volt during usage. Uh, and then the 12 volt, um, I believe, is actually 12 volt. It might be might be 10 point something volt um, if, if I remember correctly during usage I'll have to test that out and then I have the the 20 volt 60 volt flex volt and then I have the uh, 120 volt which would be for flex volt to be 60 volt tools and 120 volt tools um, so and it's nice that this little kit for the price comes with the battery and a charger kind of wish it came with two batteries but you know these things are not one of those things that it dies quickly. Um, and then the, the box has 2021 on it for the date. 94741. And it's got a little QR code. I'll probably cut that piece out um, just to save for my records. But 12 volt comes with a little cap that you can put on the battery. Does not look like it matters. Yes, it does matter what direction you put it in. You can only put it in one way. There's a little groove right here on the inside that this little lip where the button is has to slide. You can only put it in one way. Battery only has one. And this is the gyroscoping one. Where you pull the trigger and then you turn to go clockwise, counterclockwise. It's a nice little unit. It has one battery bar, which is not bad at all. Um, I do like that it comes with a cap, so you can you know, leave these in a drawer. Um, it says 
DCB080 Type 1, 8 volt max, 1 amp hour, 8.0 watt hours. So this is a 7.2 volt, uh, volt battery in all technicality, it's 8 volt nominal. Um, and then we have this little charger right here. Let me grab my cord, plug it in. So when I plug it in, this light comes on, it's like right here. Boop. It's nice and bright. This does have a wall mount, so you can mount it to a wall. So what I like about DeWalt chargers, it's got this little groove for the cable. Um, it says two and a half inch between the locking sections on each side. So not bad, 64 millimeters. Pop the battery on it. The battery only go one way. It also states on here, packs charged. Looks like solid light pack charging. It will be flashing. Hot and cold delay. Problem pack or charger. Um, shows an X on the battery. So I'm assuming this will not light if there's a problem. It's a nice little unit for 74 bucks. So it's, uh, you know, this is not going to be a, a long, long video. It does come with your little instruction booklet as well. DCF 680 and DCF 682. This one is. This is the DCF 682. Not which, not sure what the DCF 680 is. Um, it also looks like it might have a. Has a trigger lock as well. This little switch right here. So trigger lock. So you can throw it in a bag, which is nice. Doesn't click the. Um, the, the detent, pull it back, it clicks the detent if you can hear that, forward, it does not click the detent, that's nice, I'm not sure if it is uh, quick, I don't think it's a quick call, it might be, this is a little DeWalt case that I put a bunch of bits in, I've got Makita Gold bits in here. I have Makita XPS bits in here. The newer ones. I have Milwaukee bits in here. Shorters. Sh uh, two inch for the uh, XPS. Two inch for the uh, Milwaukee. And then I got three inch and three inch for both. But is this a quick collar? It is. It is a quick call it. So you can just slide the bit in. You don't gotta push it forward. Turn this light on so it's easier for you guys to see. There you go. It's quick, quick slide in. You gotta pull the collar to pop it out. I do like um, DeWalt's collars. They're collets. Not collars, but the collets. It pops them out slightly. So I'll bring you guys close. It pops it out for you guys, which is nice. Sometimes it will just pop it out enough for you to pull it out. Sometimes it will launch it. Like that time it launched it. But it's got... You can't tell if it's got, I don't see ball detents. Oh, yep. It's got a single ball detent on this one side right here. It holds it nice and secure. That is nice. And this will be good for um, lots of things. It'll be good for uh, electrical stuff. I'm going to use this quite a bit for computers as well as um, hard drives, or not hard drives, but computers in general um, for small tasks like getting the cages and stuff out. Um, I'm also going to be using this a lot for um, light switches, outlets, stuff like that. 
should be plenty of speed. I also um, have the screwdriver, um, the M12 DeWalt Extreme screwdriver as well, um, coming to the channel. I just haven't done a video on it, but uh, it's a nice little unit. This battery's been plugged on here for a few minutes during the video. Let's see what it says now. It's got two bars. I like it. The light's not extremely bright. I'm sure if I turned all these lights off, it probably is quite quite bright. I'm gonna turn these lights off. And off. Oops, kick that. Turn this light off too. So the light is pretty bright. That's pretty impressive, to be honest. It is pretty bright. So if you're in a dark, dark space, that's it's got a decent light on it. We'll definitely be showing this more. Um, so it's got two bars now. We'll definitely be showing this more on the channel. Um, I like getting new tools. I've been wanting to pick up one of these for a while. Craftsman actually had a similar one that, it, I, from what I found out, we used to be sold at Lowe's. I had seen it at a couple times at Lowe's, and then a uh, buddy of mine that does videos, Tool in Hand, I'll put a card up here for his channel. He has the gyroscopic version of the Craftsman, um, and it looks like Lowe's doesn't sell it anymore. It looks like it got discontinued, and they came out with uh, a newer version of the Craftsman where it's just you push up the up arrow, turn right, push the down arrow for reverse. So down arrow is counterclockwise, up arrow is clockwise. Uh, maybe I'll pick one of those up. I don't know. I don't have a lot of the newer sold at Lowe's Stanley Black & Decker Craftsman. I have a lot of the old Sears Craftsman stuff. But um, all in all, for $74 bucks plus tax, $79 bucks out the door. It's not a bad kit. Um, if I can find these batteries, I will let you guys know. This is this charger is the DCB095. Dog Charlie Bravo 095 or Delta Charlie Bravo 095. The battery by itself is Delta Charlie Bravo 080. And the tool is Delta Charlie Frank 682. So those are all the part numbers. If you guys want to go check it out at Lowe's, um, you know, you can find it at Lowe's next to the, uh, right next to the DeWalt 12 volt extreme items, um, at Lowe's. Do appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. Just a quick video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, smoosh the bell notification icon for future updates. Go check out my Amazon affiliate links, my Acme Tools affiliate links, my DJI Electronics affiliate links, as well as my Ohio Power Tools affiliate links. Sorry about that. I stepped on some uh, the plastic that I took it out of. Um, I do appreciate all of you guys, all of you subscribers, non-subscribers, viewers, watchers, people that use the affiliate links. It does help out the channel immensely when you do use them. So very much appreciated. The channel has started paying for itself. Um, so I can pick up wood and stuff now with what I make off YouTube. Again, Delta Charlie Frank 682 Northern 1. That's the, the kit number. It does say on here, yeah, max initial battery voltage measured without a workload is 8 volts. Nominal voltage is 7.2 volts. Doesn't have a lot of information. Anchors and concrete adhesives. Not really sure what that's about. Tools and accessory made in China. Charger made in China or Thailand. Battery made in China or Japan. South Korea or Malaysia. You know, DeWalt does make some good tools. You know, some of their tools are really high priced. Some of them are not. You know, do appreciate you guys watching though. I do appreciate all the subscribers. You guys help out the channel a ton. As well as all the... You know, just the people that watch, the non-subscribers, if you want to see more stuff like this, you know, smush the bell notification icon, and hopefully I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace!